I think Hello. we're good. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Good evening. We're here again. Yes, good evening everyone and happy Friday. We're super duper happy that you're spending your Friday here with us. Uh, for those of you who's joining us for the first time, our, we'll introduce ourselves. We're BBS or Brujaha BL Squad. Um, we are comprised of Ange, um, who is just going to follow tonight. Um, we also have P-Mark, P-Maya, myself, <laughs> P-Mike. Buddy. Biniko, Pati, Pipati, and we have a special guest for tonight. Yes. We are pleased to introduce Lance, P. Lance. So, <laughs> Adi. So again, we're joined together or hey. um, because of our shared love for BLs um, and we want to share our joy with you as well that we're doing these regular series reviews every Friday. So to give us an overview on the series that we are going to review tonight, we have T. Mark. Hello. Yes. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> So this the series that we're going to review tonight is Sotos. It's actually um one of the parang one of the top uh, BL series that na produced by JMM TV. Um, for this for the reason na um ano siya eh, parang nagkaroon kasi na medyo decline with the viewer uh, turnout for for the network and then when they introduce and then when they um when they showed uh so to doon tumaas yung viewers nila so doon na nag start from there so kinoconsider nila yung Sotos as one of the gems of GMM TV so 
starting off, so this is actually a very um it's a very simple naman na series. There's nothing really big and grand about it. Pero that's what uh what ma- what's make what makes it special is yung how the story was told and how the flow and the, the characters were were uh portrayed and uh, how the events unfolded throughout the series. So next start siya as um like a normal college setup na may out may sasali ng organization and then when when you join an organization, chepe nagkakar ng ano kinatawag na initiation or for, for or welcoming remarks or welcoming ceremonies yun. So for so to the series the na, is <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought of that pero ano ino tone down ka ng konte pero Maya went there. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. so, for photos, um, next next start yung series na the juniors of uh, college engineering sila yung hello thank you for calling no. <laughs> sorry that right. thank you for call I'm so sorry next start yung series na yung juniors of college college of engineering sila yung in charge sa pag welcome ng kanilang freshman So as the leader of the head hazer is Artit and then isa sa mga nag stand out na freshman is si Kong Pob. So yung two characters na yon sila yung um kasi I want to make it spoiler free as possible sana no. Pero yung two characters na yon yung yung dun sa kanila umikot yung buong kwento ng Soto. So uh, as the usual may mga activities yung Sotos yung ya yeah, yung College of Engineering organization na hindi nagustuhan ng ilang mga freshmen. So si Kong Pob yung naging voice of the I don't know if the majority or what. Pero meron silang mga series of activities na me- minsan hindi okay for Kong Pob as para hindi niya na-feel na yun yung tamang way to welcome the freshmen. So nagkaroon ng uh counting counting tension in terms of bakit natin gagawin to what's the meaning of this what's 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 the purpose of doing this so then din nag unfold na medyo nagiging harsh yung way ng juniors in welcoming the freshies or the freshmen so uh, at one episode nag step up yung mga seniors nila na sinasabi na artit medyo hindi ata okay yung response ng freshmen natin so then din umikot yung kwento kung paano naman naging open si Art Kids into listening to his friends, kung kung paano niya i-welcome din yung mga freshies. So, ayun. Then, then a lot of things happened pa after, especially with the other characters na si si New, si New talaga. <laughs> si, yeah. si May, yeah. si Neen. <laughs> yeah. Ay, si M, si M. Si M, tapos si May, and all the other characters pa. Si Patty. Okay, so siguro ako, uh, more on the trivia na lang. So did you yes. know that, trivia talaga, okay. So did you know <laughs> that uh, one of the actors, who, uh, the actor who played Kong Pog, si, uh, si Singto, Singto used to be a head hazer in his, mm. univer- in his college. Mm, so the Faculty of Economics at Cassette Sarit University, wherein Chris Pirawat was his junior. Ooh. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Oh, I know. 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 Singto is one year oh. older than Artit. Yes, correct. Yes. Tapos si Singto din yes. yung head hazer eh. So, yeah. mm-mm. Nagaling, di ba? Interesting, di ba? Okay. And uh, yeah, siguro yeah. to add to that, siguro ito medyo out of topic, si Mike Shinarat, if you can remember him as Bon in Theory of Love, yes, yes, yes. Yes. and um, si Man in Together, so siya yes. yung sumunod na head hazer after si oh, after Singto. Singto. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 So that I can be hazed by them. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yun. Ano pa bang mga ibang details natin? Well, um, tapos at one point then, uh, Sinto being a head hazer, um, since yung mga juniors medyo na na charmed sila ni Sinto, at one point, yung mga pictures niya during um, hazing activities, kumalat siya sa social network. Ah, okay. So may mga pictures siya nung undergrad siya na oh. um, yung talaga ka. So, yun. Okay. Oh, thank you. Very interesting, very informative. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, so, so I guess we'll get right into the right, session, right? right. right. Yeah. This is cool, though, because I think we're getting also deets from uh, different sources. We have uh, Twitter, we have uh, different groups also on Facebook, I think. No? Yep. And uh, our goal here is basically to share not just our insights, but also all these pieces of information from all these sources, right? Um, okay, so let's begin. Uh, so we'll start off with, uh, of course, uh, plot development. I think uh, Mark was able to give us an overview of uh, somehow the summary of SOAPs. No? Uh, but before that, let's read th through some comments of two of our viewers. No? Uh, <laughs> G. Of course, S S T S T is here, no? Right? Uh, so he says, uh, Sawadi, ayan. Uh, ayan, si Joss Young, right? So he says, Sawadi. Yeah, and hello, hello, hello. And he also says that uh, Sotus is uh, or was his first uh, BL series watch. So I think mm -hmm. see, Lance, I think first one up on Udma, diba? No? Yes, that was the first one I perfect. watched. Then. Perfect. You might you might actually be able to share some insights with uh, Joss later on. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's begin with our um, you know our review night. We start off with, of course, the usual. Something in it, and we start off with. Review ng plot and character development. Okay, we Okay, so uh, we'll start off with we'll start off with Mark. Okay, go. Yeah. So again, kanina na mention kana ng konte yung plot, no? So for ano nala, I, I would like to stress na lang to sa character development. Kasi um, to be honest, ako as the resident, hindi naman ba chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> You are president. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, ano lang ako. Um, Critique. Kasi coming from, yeah, coming from uh, having watched Together. Kasi Together was my first in watching oh. during this quarantine, no? So, coming from Together, kasi Together kasi started na episode one pa lang, like, bam, nandiyan na siya agad, diba? Like, fan service, kilig, and everything, yes. Yun. So this is totally the opposite of that in the good way naman. Although we've enjoyed together, pero so, so this kasi yung strategy nila in telling the story is a totally different way. Pero it's it worked for them, it's for the good naman. It's for the good of their, their the series, the story and everything. So yun. Uh, I, I would like to stress lang that's a character development, especially for our people. Kasi si Spili ko siya yung may pinaka kitang kita natin na character development. Kasi nag-start siya as, um, I, I think there was one instance in the series na nag-start, na na-mention na medyo ano daw siya, medyo matinik sa chicks, ganyan, sa chicks, sa girls, ganyan. So, <laughs> parang nung, nakil, nung pumasok si Kong Pob sa university and nag hinehaze niya yung, yung batch nila Kong Pob, um, it's very new for him na maka-experience ng someone who would hit on him, which is a guy. And eventually, um, yung character development nakikita natin na nagso soften siya kay Kong Pop parang tinaiwan ko kung kinikilig din ba siya or what pero uh, may mga instances dun sa series na uh, medyo nagso smile siya ng konte so yung mga small nuances dun sa series makikita natin na he's he's slowly opening up dun sa ano dun sa sa idea na si Kong Pop is there na hin na, na nababawasan na yung inis niya in the long run so yun and eventually sa dulo yun nga the the big reveal sa bridge scene so that i think that's one of the the, the highlights of the whole series um revolving around the character the character development of our team or Chris uh, another naman is yung character development ni Sinsingto na it's kasi nag-start siya as mapaglaro and everything na gino joke lang niya pero Pero uh, parang nakikita kasi natin na uh, as, as I've read many reviews din na yung character development daw ni Sinto is not 
or ni, ni Kong Pob is not as evident as our tips. Kasi si Sing Tong from the start pa lang head on, hinihit on na niya si Art Hit. And until the very end, hinihit on niya si Art Hit. Pero yung nuances ng character development niya, nakita natin in the scenes na slowly tinanggap. Kasi na, feeling ko kasi ako, personally, nakita ko na kay, kay uh, Kong Pob na medyo selfish siya at first. Na parang gusto niya, igigiit niya. Pero personally, nakita ko yung character development niya in the sense na slowly nag-open na siya sa opinion ng iba. Slowly, mas naiintindihan niya na kapag hindi okay kay Art Hit, medyo kailangan niya i-tone down yung sarili niya and everything. So, ayun. Generally, the character development of the series naman outside uh, Art Hit and Kong Pog, um, okay naman. It's just that, <laughs> yun nga, as, the, as your resident critic, um, medyo, ano lang, <laughs> Sorry na, no? <laughs> Pero meron lang mga meron, meron lang mga mangilan-ngilang characters na I think hindi masyadong nabigyan ng development ng characterization nila. So, yun. May, just like, for example, kasi, ano, di ba si Sotos meron siyang uh, sequel, which is Sotos S, which we'll mm-hmm. review later on. Parang meron lang mga, may char- ano ko, I don't know if spoiler na ba to for the next review, pero may characters na nawala na I think parang sayang, missed opportunity kasi hindi mm-hmm. nag-grab yung opportunity na pag-usapan din sila. And mm-hmm. at the same time, um, medyo, medyo mabagal. Kasi Sotos is, as I said earlier, no, hindi siya the same as together na head-on, I'm flirting with you. So at the end of the series, tayo. Hindi siya ganun eh. I mean, mm-hmm. Sotos kasi slow siya eh. So what, what makes it special and what makes it relatable is the fact that it is relatable. Na parang from a chick boy guy to fall in love with a younger guy. So parang it do- it doesn't take just uh, what two episodes para ma-flip mo yon in the real world. Mm-hmm. Diba? So so that's what makes it relatable na parang yung small acts can lead to to to, to the event later on na magiging sila. So hindi siya yung kagaya ng together na parang ako ko kay Tayen, 'di ba? Nakita natin na parang ang bilis nung um, na, ayaw ko ako, nabilisan lang ako dun sa pag-flip ng perspective na gusto na rin niya si Sarawat. So, in in this series kasi hindi hindi ganoon yung nangyari, eh. parang slowly nag-develop yung feelings ni Art Hit for Kong Pob in a sense na hindi siya cringy, in a sense na hindi siya um parang hindi siya hindi siya pilit, hindi siya minadali. Parang they slowly took their time to fall mm-hmm. in love with each other. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, kung naha? Galing, 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 galing. Yes. Then, ano ko talaga? Hindi ka lang critique, pwede ikaw ay uh, expert on sotis. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so, maganda yung, uh, maganda yung point of discussion ni, uh, ni Mark, no? Uh, before we engage, uh, engage some of the viewers sa comments nila, um, medyo may tactical difficulty na tayo ng konti with StreamYard. Uh, I, dapat kasi pag makakapasok dito 10 in the room and for some reason it's not allowing me so what I'll do is I'll I'll exchange I'll swap places and just si Ange the backstage natin okay, okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll introduce uh, lalabas muna ako sa room but I'll take control of uh, who's getting in who's getting out there okay, so yun ang gagawin natin so maximum six people in the room but right now papasok na si Ange okay so okay. let me introduce myself from the room okay hello and hi. 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 Um, a bit slow at the start, which is a strategy, which I also appreciate it. I like the fact that the show kept you on the edge of your seat, um, probably at the first seven, eight, nine, even ten episodes, because it just kept you anticipating when they will finally get together, and they kept on yeah. building up on the tension at the first nine, ten <laughs> episodes. <laughs> But mm-hmm. mind you, I like the fact that they did that because um, it's not boring at all. You might think, okay, it might be boring. They might prolong the anticipation for nine or ten episodes, but it's not. And I feel that there's always a new struggle for the both of them for the first 
nine or ten episodes. And there's just really something about their chemistry and the contrasts in their relationship that makes it so killing without trying hard to do so. Na, as Mark mentioned, niya na, wala siya yung outright killing moments like hugging, kissing, or courting yeah. each other. Diba? It's effortless, but it's probably the tension and the difference um, in their personalities and probably their chemistry as well that makes it magical for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Um, I agree with both Mark and Maya. No? So for me, I agree. It was a slow burn. Alam mo parang it didn't really hit you in the gut right then and there. Unlike some BLs, na parang unang tingin palang nagkatitigan lang sila. Tapos parang mahal na nila yung isa tisa. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like a love at first sight kind of thing. It was more of like a love at tenth sight or something like that. <laughs> It was sort of like something that, like Maya said, it was something that kept you wanting to see more because they weren't, um, they weren't rushing things. And you were like enjoying the funny moments, the tender moments, and the cutesy moments that were happening. Like uh, Mark mentioned earlier, but I'm, See Kompo, we didn't really see a lot of character development for him because from the get-go, he was very determined. I mean, he knew what he wanted to the point that sometimes he would disregard what other people might be feeling or thinking. Kasi parang yun nga, ipipilit niya yung ipipilit niya. At dahil gusto kita, I'll make you my wife. Diba? <laughs> Ganun bagay. And sometimes to the detriment of the entire group, right? Oh, which uh, brings me back to my original um, point sana. Um, this is, for me, uh, I don't know if it makes sense to you, but this for me is more like a school drama that happened to have BL characters or a BL main uh, yeah. character, diba? Kasi parang um, other BLs, uh, you would really focus so much on the characters that parang, ano ba talaga ginagawa nila dyan? <laughs> Nag-aaral ba sila? Kasi parang po extracurricular activities. Parang gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, really in school, but with um, photos, you see a lot more of what happens in the school, and you see a lot of group activities, etc. and so forth. So parang, um, it also helped. Um, those activities are actually parang anchoring the progression of the story of the love that was you know growing between the two main characters. So parang, it's not just about them, but it's about what's happening around them. Um, what's happening to the people with them that propels the story forward. So um, one thing that I would mention about Kong Pob, though, is um, he was very determined and very sure of himself at the beginning. But it came to a point that he was always going to reject <laughs> or he was always advances to advance, he was fruition. And he became very... Um, and, of course, there was a girl. <laughs> so parang it came to a point that parang he was feeling disheartened, etc. and so forth. So <laughs> we saw na nag-breakdown din siya, di ba? But even though that happened, he wasn't the kind of protagonist to, let's say, um, strike back, lash out, etc. and so forth. So parang um, he actually dealt with it very maturely, I would say. And that brings me to another character, which I'll mention now because we're talking about handling rejection, is... Si May, one of the side characters. Di ba she was interested in Kong Pob? Yes! Ang <laughs> <laughs> um, um, nakilang heartbroken <laughs> reject. Lagi din lang siya. Ito yung series, heartbroken reject. Pero, seriously, parang... Kahit sa theory of love. Di ba? Exactly. Yung pagbabash ko last week sa kanya. Ito na yun. Okay na, pass na yun, pass na yun. So, <laughs> he revealed his feelings to Kong Pob, di ba? Pero Kong Pob let, ah, parang let her down gently. And unlike other BL characters who become vindictive, they want to, you know, parang do exact revenge, etc. and so forth, she took it really well, di ba? Kasi parang um, wala naman mangyayari kung ano, mag-lash out ako or mag, uh, di ba, magpapaka-diva ako dito, etc. He won't like me, di ba? And then here comes along M, our favorite, Titipum. <laughs> Let's say that again, Titipum. Everyone's <laughs> favorite. Exactly. Yeah. Also, his character was um, 
eh, parang outside of the mold rin eh. Because again, just like what I said in a previous discussion, he's not the typical BL character who takes advantage of an opportunity, di ba? So parang he and May sat down, kasi di ba, she got rejected, she sat on a bench, and then suddenly he was there, he was trying to comfort her, and he didn't take advantage of the situation. She mentioned na, uh, um, she wanted to just be friends. And he was like, okay with it. Diba? So parang, sige, let's see where this goes. Let's take it slow. So parang he didn't force himself on her. He didn't take advantage of her vulnerability to sort of like uh, wheedle his way into her heart. Diba? So I think those are two very good things. Because most often in BLs, parang pag may heart broken, you can take advantage. <laughs> diba? May mga papasok na lang bigla. Tapos ooh, parang opportunista lang talaga. Okay, so... What I going back to Kongpal, he's also very good in his characterization of his um, character. Because you know nuances, yeah, de ba? Yung para mga facial expressions niya, yung mga sudden changes in facial gestures, yung mga ganon bagay. Para he can really communicate with with his body and not just uh, with his words. Diba? Tapos sige si ano naman si Singto. He's also very versatile, de ba? Because nakita nga natin yung <laughs> I mean, as an actor, <laughs> yeah. his character, we saw him, we see him as this angry, obnoxious, like, um, very hardline kind of guy, diba? But then, when he uh, encounters Kong Pop, and then he starts to become more enamored of Kong Pop, then we see him very shy, even parang sort of like, um, tumitiklop, diba? to Kong Po, kasi ganun ka-strong talaga yung personality ni Kong Po, right? So he can be cute as well. So he's very versatile. So let's just leave it at that. Um, two characters that I wish had more airtime were Rem, one of the seniors, mm-hmm. and Wad. <laughs> Akala ko muta ko yung ano, the guy from my side. Wad, the friend, oh, the last man. So parang initially, they started off in the wrong foot as well, di ba? But then something happened, and then Rem went to Wad's um, help or rescue, and then they started developing this sort of like awkward yet, I don't know, tension-filled kind of relationship, which I wish would have been explored, but that's okay. Um, basically, the main character is someone more important. Okay, so in terms of uh, plot, I think that as much as possible, they really wanted to stick to the theme, theme of SOTOS, because it's about... It's about Um, SOTOS is an acronym, basically, di ba? Um, seniority, mm-hmm. organization, or order, order. Order. Tradition. Order. order, tradition, tradition, unity, and spirit. Okay. Uh-huh. So, in the entire series, we see um, people um, taking advantage of seniority and using their seniority to be able to help their juniors become acclimatized or to integrate them into the uh, department, di ba? And then we see order, di ba? Na kailangan talaga may pinapalo tayong structure. Otherwise, there will be chaos. Di ba? Um, traditions. We have to respect what are established rules and regulations. Di ba? Because that's how we make society work. Um, unity, di ba? Dati, they are doing things on their own. Parang even Kong Pog was doing things on his own. But eventually, he learned how to work with everyone else to be able to succeed and then finish the challenge that was set to them by the seniors, di ba? And then finally, spirit. Ayan, hindi na ubusan ang spirit si Kong Pong. Because he's very passionate about things, di ba? And also team spirit, which is very important for um, an organization, a country, a school, a department, even an engineering, ano, di ba? So I think it was all very, very smart. And it was all very well laid out. Um, in terms of the progression of the love story, there were a lot of cute moments, there were a lot of uh, killing moments. Um, and Kong Pong always has this way of sort of like um, delivering a pickup line, di ba? Um, I guess one memorable scene was nagpagupit si Kong Pasa, si Chris, si Artit, di ba? Tapos parang tinanong niya si ano, Kong Pog na parang, is it okay? Sabi niya, yeah, it's really nice, it's really good. Parang, hindi, hindi nga talaga. Tapos sinabi ni Kong Pog na, no, it's so bad. Huh? Talaga? Bad ba? Yeah, I got it bad for you. Or something like that. <laughs> so yung mga pick-up lines niya, yung mga ganun delivery niya, tapos yung mga facial expression bigla na nahihiya si ano, artit, or nakotawa, et cetera, and so forth. So those are the things that make this series enjoyable and worth watching, di ba? And let's not forget, one of the biggest things that came out of this series is the pink milk. 
The pink milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Basically, like everyone mentions it, diba? Right? And it is also replicated in other series. Like for example, Two Moons, the series, diba? Right? May kita mo yung pink milk then don, diba? So parang it becomes sort of like a feature in other BL series. So in many ways, this was like a uh, proponent. This was like a uh, trailblazer. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> no, thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. And thank you, thank you so much. Papasok muna ako. Nag-request ng um, break muna si Maya daw. Okay, so ako muna dito sa room. All right. Oh, that was a very um very interesting take on so to no? I think uh, I will have to sort of agree naman somehow with you on that. But I'm pasok na lang din ako para super quick kasi in a way parang it's aligned with what Mike uh, was able to share no. Um uh, I, I super like um so to because ito, ito siguro I wish that I could have watched this the first time. Sana ito sana yung napanood kong unang series eh. But it wasn't mm-hmm. the first time. Eh. Could have probably established the grounds for me in uh, boys' love, no. Um, at na share ko naman to kay Mike, no. I like so much because how it actually beautifully and fairly painted um, the campus university life for me. Parang I felt nostalgic in the process. Parang ang ganda ng kwento, eh. Parang di ba? No, it wasn't just focused on kung pop and artite. Parang it was. I mean, it was able to like. Narrate different stories of M and uh, what's the name of the girl? Me. Me. Ano sa? Me. 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 Then si uh, si Prem and then si Wad, no? And then all these um, ano ba tawang don? Yung mga fr- freshman kind of vibe na mga characters, no? Na parang it was able to paint really a good picture of her campus life to me, and I felt like it was very genuine. It was well thought of. Hindi siya Diba normally kasi sorry to say ha, to magiging kritik din ako. Parang may mga series kasi na PL na very pa sweet, pwede pa, pa, pa masyadong patiit arms and all. And then for me parang it's kind of too much already. Na medyo saturated na siya a little bit. But ito kasi, I felt like it was kind of like on the ground. Na uh, it was authentic, you know, yung tamang term, eh. it was kind of authentic to me. And good that you were in the convention of Sotos, the what it means, no? Seniority, order, tradition, unity, and spirit. And I noticed that all the narratives uh, revolved around this umbrella story of Sotus. Pansin nyo, di ba parang yes. kaya nagkaroon ng tension si R.T. and si Kong Pop is because of seniority. Because of okay. the tradition. Nag-clash sila, di ba? Uh, the group, yung barkada nila, it's because of unity, di ba? And everything else. So it's revolving around uh, Sotus, so what it means. And I like um, how the the story, the, the entire series, was so cohesive because of the idea of Sotus. Ang ganda nung kwento ng Sotus, although it's a social issue in Thailand, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll also uh, consult uh, Daryl Magramo. He's now watching from Thailand. Sabi niya, babasa natin hey. yung... He's drinking uh, his pink milk at the moment. But we'll read through uh, his comments later on. Uh, we'll consult him, no? So, I like uh, how cohesive the theme is because of Sotu. So, in terms of the narratives, yung kwento naman, I think that every story there, every narrative, uh, was essential to creating that campus fi- uh, life. Eh. Na parang kung wala tong May and M na kwento, kung wala tong uh, Prem and uh, Wad and everybody else in, 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 in the scene, parang hindi ko mararamdaman na campus life talaga siya. Di ba? Parang yun kasi, di ba gano'n naman sa, fr- sa pag nung fr- frosh pa tayo, pagpasok ng school, di ba? Parang may mga hazy, uh, may mga, uh, to? mga orientation yeah. here and there, freshman orientation, di ba? May, ma- may mga groups na nag invite sa atin, di ba? And it- it's kind of fun. And it was, uh, Sotus was able to paint that uh, that picture. You know? um, it wasn't too much, it was enough for me and the development of uh, the plot scene. Uh, seem to went the, to, to go the natural way, the natural course of a campus life, right? In terms of the characters, the man, I super super like um, what's his name? CRT, CRT, no, CRT, Chris, no. Uh, that's the that's the actor. I like uh, the character shifts, right? Because para ano siya? Eh? Parang he was kind of um, stern hazer na na guy, right? Na parang ano siya? Eh? Malakas ang boss niya, very assertive. But during their parang closed door meetings amongst the hazers, yes. it actually nag- nag-soften eh, di ba? Nagiging yes. compassionate. Ba? 
And then right. to me, that is amazing because I think you rarely see that in BLs. Because usually in BLs, my consistency, my development. But ito kasi nag-shift bigla in one like episode, di ba? And mm-hmm. you can really see the difference ng dalawang faces niya. Na parang he can be stern because he has to be stern sa harap ng mga uh, freshmen. And then he has to also be compassionate because that's who he really is at, is at the end of the day. No? Mm-hmm. So I super like it. No? Um, I also would like to make mention of M. Di ba? Side character siya eh. But interestingly, uh, before I watched photos, ang pinanood ko naman was VB. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yung character niya doon was totally different. Di ba? Kasi mm-hmm. ano siya eh. Uh, gay siya. He was the beta there, right? Mm-hmm. Nung pinapanood ko sa photos, medyo nadidisorient ako ng konti kasi na, <laughs> may hands on power. Oh, super like ko si Kao talaga. And, but eventually, I was so convinced with this cat Doctor, na very frail, very soft, very submissive, na very silent lang siya in all. And I was kind of convinced, and ang galing niyang actor. That's why I'd like to mention him because of that contrast. No, na convinced niya ako na ganon talaga yung character niya at the end of the day. And and Kung Pop also, no, um, convincing characterization sufficient enough to give a good picture of that campus life. No, mm-hmm. to me, um, I I will have to put um Sotos on top of my list. Well, later mag magerating naman tayo because of the character in the plot development. I super super like it. It's so grounded. It's so authentic. It felt so real to me. Uh, so real, not so real. It's so real uh, to the point that it uh, brought me back to my university life. Yun la. So sorry, may yeah. hahabol pa ako. Na remember yeah. ko lang. <laughs> so um, talking about female characters, no. Um, I think this is one of those BL series. The <laughs> female side characters are not depicted as evil, vindictive mm. bitches. Yeah, no, <laughs> right. Okay. For example, diba, usually in BL series, yung mga ex na mga girls, usually dumarating sila para um, hablutin yung guy, di ba? Or para to mess up the relationship. Right. So yung ex ni Artit here, um, she wasn't there for anything except to ask for advice. Di ba? Si Artit yung ano, medyo nangangarap na may something pa. <laughs> yeah. So yung medyo right. papayang right. after right. siguro sa girl, di ba? Pero si girl, hindi naman siya doon para mang-away or mang-agaw, etc. She was just really there for advice. Right. So, good, ano, yeah. thing, diba? And also, I think this is one of those series in Thailand where we have a lesbian character, si Fresh. Oh. Oh. Miss Fresh Girl. Right. Yes. Uh-oh. Diba? So parang um, you don't really get to, to see a lot of that. And I think it was good that she was there. Although very little your exposure, and you don't really remember her, sort of. But at least she's there for representation. So I guess this is one of those right. things again that Sotos is really, uh, really did well with. Okay, right, done. Right. thanks. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, before anything else, though, let's read through some of the comments and let's welcome some of our viewers. So my mga bagutang viewers dito. Uh, let's read uh, Esty's comment here. Maganda tong comments niya. No? Yes. Again, so he says, Mikey, can you please read? Sure. So SC says, correct, correct. <laughs> I love <laughs> how the series dealt with the fact that straight nung una si Artit, tas biglang nagkagusto siya sa lalaki. In fact, this issue was dragged on to the next season. Pero subdued somehow yung pag deal nila sa issue na yun. Yeah. Actually, no. Pero si Sotos, ask us Si Sotus S kasi medyo nag-die down na ng konti. But towards the end, iba naman, no? Nag-bigla naging... Ibang issue. Ibang issue nila, eh, no? Ibang issue. Ikaw yata nag-mention, Patty, na parang medyo pag-corporate na yung, ano, yung setting, parang medyo nagiging boring na ng konti. Parang alam na natin, di ba? Exactly. Oo, yan. Okay, and then, uh, we'll read, uh, we'll also welcome, ayan, uh, Pietro Mendez, ang tobi na mga hindi na. Yes! So, welcome to Pietro Mendez for watching. Ay, mahal. Pertwer ko po. Super good. Super, super ganda ng, ng review nights natin. Kasi to, to, totoong mga boys love yung mga ini-invite natin. Thank you so much, Petro and Lad, for sharing your love with us. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, let's also welcome uh, Daryl yeah. from Grandma. Watching. Yeah, there you go. So uh, he says uh, he's watching uh, this while drinking the sweet milk of milk from Thailand. So what do you do? How do you say enjoy uh, your food? Yes. I forgot. Anyways, enjoy your drink. <laughs> oh, no. There, how do you say it in Thai? Put and it in the comments below. Another comment also. Uh, oh, ito, this is quite interesting. This this is going to be like our detail or our deep no for the viewers out there. Sabi ni Daryl Magamo, no? Uh, so here, Patty, can you read? Okay, so Daryl says, all BL actors are back on track. Ha ha ha. Pakalat-kalat na lang sila. They are out everywhere in Bangkok. Also, BL series productions are resuming their shoot. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, mm-hmm. may may ano na may mga show. Pero pang isa eh, I forgot. Yung, oh, yung, yeah. yung puro T, yung pangalan na lang lahat na nag-name. Love by chance? Love by chance? Yeah. Love by chance, love by chance yes. Love by chance, I guess, yes. I mean, ano ba yung second by chance? Love by chance. And there's a non-deal series, but it's also Thai and GMMP, GMMTV produced. It's right. The Gifted. I like season one, I'm looking forward yeah. to Gifted. Yeah. Oh, another one. Yung series ni Pod, saka ni Kautong. Yes! 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 And also, aside from Daryl, no, uh, we have here si, uh, Joss Young. Is it Joss Young? Definitely yes. one of the best masterpieces. No? Uh, so, yes. yeah, we agree with you, Joss. All right, so uh, let's continue. Uh, sino pa bang uh, share ng insights? Hi, Ali. Thank you for watching. Hi, Sir Ali. Sir Ali, you're not on. You're Ali. Sir Ali, hello. Sir Ali, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Ipa, ipa, muna si, ano, si Maya. Charlie. Go ahead, Tari. All right, okay. Hi, okay. Hi Maya. All right. So for me, um, actually, basically, parehas lang din ako ng insights from the first four reviewers. But um, I would just like to add perhaps on um, siguro yung plot lang. What I like about it is that, uh, yun nga, it's slow burn, but at the same time, it did not really compromise yung, um, yung, re- yung development ng relationship nila kung pub and market. And um, another thing, um, Sotos was also a pioneer in terms of a lot of aspects, di ba? So, um, Sotos was I think also the pioneer ba in terms of yung engineering trend sa mga BL. Kasi di ba, parang sila ya, I'm not sure ha, but sila ba yung nauna? And then eventually, um, may mga, yung mga sumunod na BL series, parang lagi nilang napapansin or lagi nilang nakakast yung engineering as, well, <laughs> as the course. As the course for it. Um, what I also appreciate, another another thing that I also appreciate is yung acting ng mga characters. Um, for Sotos, I really, really, really loved Sinto here. Dito ko siya mas na-appreciate. Perhaps, um, for a newbie actor, I think he was able to deliver kung sino ba talaga si Kong Pob. And we were able to appreciate Kong Pob's, uh, Kong Pob's character through um, through Sinto's acting. So, yun. Um, yun siya. Tapos, um, in terms of ano pa ba? Character development. I think totoo naman yung mga sinabi na um, in terms of character development, yung pinaka nakita natin yung changes in terms of character would have to be art hit. But um, siguro later on, kapag nag-start tayo with Sotos S, kasi ako personally mas nagustuhan ko si art hit dun sa second season. But for first season, I actually appreciate Kong Po more. Cool. <laughs> Siguro si, ready na yata si Ange. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, um, I'll be the party pooper for our episode. I'm so sorry. Ay, nalang po magkakabashers ako after our, ano. Um, PL series, I think. Well, yun yung um, observation ko. So, ano ba? Let's start, I guess, with the things I like muna. Um, well, first, um, is... Well, actually, siya yung talaga nagustuhan ka. Pero first is uh, uh, yung specific character in the series. Oh, well, actually, it's Kong. Um, I was consistently in awe of his character. Uh, usually, kasi in every drama, uh, parang one of the lead, uh, one of the leads has to be the parang miserable, sensitive, naive one, ganyan. Uh, while the other one counters that by either being the cool kid or the guy with the attitude. So, in uh, Sotos, our date was latter, was the latter, obviously, the ma attitude one. Uh, but Kong Pub, um, Kong Pub was neither of those two for me. Um, he was such a breath of, uh, uh, she was breath of, she, he was such a breath of fresh air in terms of BL characters. I guess, uh, parang what really sets him apart is, ano ba, parang, He's uh his sad and self confidence. Parang ganyan. Like he doesn't play by the rules and um he say the most outrageous things without even batting an eye. So sobrang nagustuhan ka talaga. Meron talaga siya kasi ng ano eh parang big D energy. <laughs> Nagkilaman sa sabi ni Patty yon. And he's so yeah. smooth uh, when it comes to um flirting with our teeth. So yon. Um <laughs> and another thing I love. Yes. And another thing I like about uh, Kong Pub is, I guess I mentioned I mentioned that in Shahanin and Mike. Um, when he got rejected by Artie at first, um, I used I'm used to characters um undergoing rejection by being too dramatic, like nagkakasakit, hindi makain, not taking no for an answer, ganyan. <laughs> but uh, for Kong Pub, um, he kind it out, but eventually. Uh, he decided to move on and respect uh, the other's decision. Parang he wasn't too miserable about it. So I also loved how uh, he set a boundary with Artit when uh, Artit came back to him. Parang he mentioned that, I remember he mentioned that uh, no, they can't be casual friends without giving Kong too much. So parang he was just being real. It props to him as well parang for um, handling yung heartbreak maturely. So, the, there, I super loved uh, Kung Kung character. Uh, now, on the do- uh, on the doubt side, <laughs> all of you will probably hate me after this. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the story. Uh, Patty already knows this, but I think uh, what put me off is how integral the concept of hazing was in the story. Uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tradition in Thailand, and I know it's still being done in our country as well. Uh, but uh, for me, talaga, kasi I really dislike it. So, yes, there were no uh, violent scenes actually shown, but um, ewan ko, just the concept itself talaga off na for me. Eh. Every time may hazing scene, medyo nagkikage talaga ako. Like, okay lang kasi sa akin yung yung usual na initiation sa pasasayo. Right, right. In fact, ganyan, mm-hmm. yung mga nakahiya, fun-fun lang, ganyan. But then, um, some of the scenes for me, parang medyo bullying for me. And, yeah, or too much. Um, yeah, and okay lang sana kasi kung voluntary siya. But, um, uh, like joining ROTC, ganyan. But for this one kasi, they forced the freshmen dun sa system. And um, I also understand that uh, parang they tried to uh, show na they were uh, the seniors were being harsh to uh, the freshmen at first because they just wanted to teach them a lesson, ganyan, or be, uh, parang build camaraderie, team, work unity, um, and that parang they only want the best for the freshmen students. Pero yun, kaso for me, kasi there are other ways for you to do that. Like, parang, ang tanong ko, hindi ba usang college org sa Thailand? <laughs> Yeah, and and uh, parang if uh, I will recall one of the scenes that I didn't like, um uh it was when our teeth was 
okay, approached by one of the girls to get his signature as part of the initiation mm-hmm. activities. And right. he used the so-called seniority to get the number of the girls. So, parang na-off talaga ako doon. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't like the seniors' characters because, well, sort of, they, they were sort of unreasonable talaga for me. Sobrang, medyo may, medyo, sorry, they is talaga kasi ako pag nagpapawaliping <laughs> yung mga tao, lalo na, it's just, it's just because of the age. So, yun. Right. Also, I remember one scene Sorry, nakalimutan ko yung name ni si Gun Smile. Pero when he got so mad yeah. of the other guy, I, I forgot his name, sorry. Pero just because he didn't greet, greet him, sorry, greet okay. him. So, yun, parang, and they were always shouting. So, medyo, yeah, off siya for me. And, okay. ano pa ba? Since they were um, IE students like I was, I tried to put myself in their shoes then and Ako lang, para it just doesn't make sense to me talaga. Parang why would I even bother myself and waste my time with such activities? I mean, nung first year ako parang, oh my gosh, nagdag pa sa stress levels ko, hindi ko kaya to. Engineering ka, Ange, di ba? I even, I mean, it's like, oh man. <laughs> Madami bang boys love force mo? <laughs> so, but, parang, if I were them talaga, I would super ditch their pakulo. And ayun, a suggestion ko sila, gumawa na lang sila ng orgs. And may mga general assembly joke. <laughs> so, <you're laughs> so, sorry, sorry for the super ko. Though, I think I would have appreciated it more if um, Kasi they already started with Kong Pob challenging everything about the Soto yeah, system. Right. So, sana tinuloy-tuloy nila yun. And then, siguro may ginawa silang balance and the end. Kasi gets ko naman din yung point ng seniors. Pero, um, ang nangyari kasi parang sort of si Kong Pob medyo nag-adhere na rin siya to the system. So, yun lang. Right. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I also find Kong Pob and RT uh, very cute. Like, outside the hazing stuff, and they would always meet in the hunting, ganyan. Or, dumadunga ko siya sa bintana. The RT, cute. Uh, tsaka yung mga pink milk scenes, ganyan. Cute sila. So, yun. Kinilig naman ako. Pero, yun. I was, parang hindi talaga ako ganun ka-fan ng story. Sorry! Pakitanggal ako lang, ano? Pakitanggal ako sa bank. Joke <laughs> <laughs> I like to put something from from Ange also. I, I also had the same sentiment while watching it, Siguro. Um, I think any BL always integrates um, a social issue, eh, di ba? Like there are series na we talk about rape, alam natin yan, di ba? May <laughs> naman, sexual, ano ba to? incest, whatever, no? Meron ba? Hindi ko alam. Anyway, so there's always a social issue integrated. And yeah. kaya nga, no? Uh, the beauty siguro of Soto is that we get to be in this discord and discussion eh. Tama eh, kasi ganun ang sentiment ng tao. Parang we are against hazing. Who loves hazing, di ba? We get the whole point ng benefit ng hazing. But at the end of the day, we, have, we also have to look into ano ba tong, ano bang social benefit nito. But that's what, that's what we're discussing. No? And it's also interesting that Anj is also coming from IE or industrial engineering. At least we have that perspective. No, it doesn't make sense to me. No, sabi nga niya. Di ba? Tayo kasi galing akong liberal art, no? So parang iba ko tayo ng perspective. And this is very interesting also, no? Okay, yeah. so before we uh, introduce our fresh perspective, no? Si Lance na, no? Si Lance na yung next natin. Ayan. So we'll just read some of uh, the comments uh, from our viewers, okay? Uh, so this is more of like detail of, um, how do you call this? Anong nangyayari sa time? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. I can. Can you hear me? Yes. I can. Oh, yes, I can. How about now? Okay. Now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, Joss Yang uh, says that uh, shooting na po ang love by chance. I think this is love by chance too. Yung pangalawa, no? Yeah. Uh, I think sad thing is wala na si sino nang wala sa love by chance too. Si Perth. Si Perth. Ah, si Saint. Si Saint yung wala na. No? <laughs> si, so, Saint. si Saint yung wala. Pero ando na si Perth. No? Um, 
So for the most of us who watch already this series, I think it's kind of sad because we were kind of rooting for these two. Parang um, sana ma, 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 sana mas na progress na sana yung story nila no sa pero biglang nagtataka nagtataka ako paano kaya yung kwento nila sa season 2 wala na eh no Hello 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 Yes Yes Hello hello You you were hanging out there Oo Sorry sorry okay ayan okay. napaka ano napaka strong ng internet natin Hello hello <laughs> Hello, yes. Can you hear me now? Hello. <laughs> Better? Okay. Yes. All right. Let's read one more comment from uh, Daryl Magramo. Um, he said that Tarn Type uh, workshop pa rin daw at this point. And hindi pa rin shoot. Um, uh, LBC, Love by Chance, is shooting na. Still together. Uh, one week na silang nagsushoot. Ayan. Okay. And there's also another comment uh, from and si Daryl Uleto. He said that <laughs> Not thick, the series opened the doors for the productions of BL series. Sotus was produced after Love Sick, which is true. Uh, but Sotus really focused on the narratives of the BL genre. Interesting. Um, I think Love Sick was uh, shot or released in 2014, if I'm right. And uh, it was yes. the first, uh, I think, no? Tama, no? Right? And Sotus was, yes, released, was. And, uh, Sotus was released in 2016. Tama ba ako? Mali-mali ako ng mga... Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, ayan. So, I remember watching it in 2016. Di mo ako fan talaga. Okay, so, uh, ayan. Uh, so, let's read one more comment from Darian. No? Medyo mahaba siya ng content. Natabuna na sila, Maya. Okay, uh, the problem with Love Stick, the series, was it was marketed first as Lacon Thai Soap Opera. Oh, series. And the real narratives uh, was only a sub-story in the series. Interesting. However, in the next season, Lovesick was com- completely focused on the lo- BL narratives. So coming from Lovesick, Sotus was produced in 2016. Ayan, tama tayo dun. Uh, and they say uh, the rest is history. Very nice, very nice. Okay. And this is coming from uh, someone who's been a fan of BL and who's now in Thailand. So thank you so much, Darius, for that thank information. You. Okay, so uh, with that said, uh, we would like to introduce again. <coughs> uh, we'd like to introduce uh, our uh, re- our guest. Uh, how do you call this reviewer tonight? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Uh, yes. hello. We can. I can. Can you hear me now? You're choppy again. That's better. Yeah, okay now. Okay now. Okay, so chopping, chopping, better now. Sorry, talaga. Okay, so all right. So let's introduce our guest uh, reviewer for tonight. Okay, for us to have a fresh perspective, because uh, it's best that we get different perspectives from different people. So we'll introduce another uh, BL fan, uh, B Lance. Welcome to BBS. So hey. you may share your insights and your thoughts about so. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, with Sotus, I could really relate to it because I've been through the same integration process. Because before going into UP, yeah. I went into a college wherein it had the same freshie system. Because I think that came from, Sotus came from a post-World War II system wherein it took it from the military camps and they applied it across all the schools. And Thailand, the Philippines okay. are part of those programs, unfortunately, or fortunately. So, parang they integrated that already. For the Philippines, it was... It stuck with so the campuses, but for Thailand, I think it's already so brand institution na siya. Like it's, it, it's already in their blood. So, ayun. Mm. So with me with Sotos, when every hazing was happening, it's like oh my god, it's like going through this all over again. <laughs> I felt it's like it's, we're going through it again. Although much less yung hazing with the Philippines compared to what's happening to Thailand right now and to the one that's happening in the series, pero hazing is still hazing. And I think with So To Sit series, the plot, the flow development of it, it's not like a Korean K-drama or K-drama ngayon. It's, it goes through that same flow with the uh, breathing spaces, the flow of the scenery, the flow of the people. That's how I felt watching So To I think during that time, K-drama was their backbone for that. Because especially when, when, you, when the main characters like Arhit and Kim Singto were, were thinking of something, even when I think Singto was asking, uh, will you take me? 
to be your wife. And then we, we get into spots about their student life. So parang those were the breathing spaces that we used while those two main characters were thinking. Parang ganun yung naging flow niya. So especially with the last episode, 15, that's what they do with K-dramas. You have a reminiscent, season, reminiscent episode as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you're the new... So, yes. And what I liked about this is, especially with the character ni Kong Po, was you could see his emotion even sa lalamunan niya. So you could see that gr- cringe, especially when he's jealous, when he's angry, when he's frustrated. Mm-hmm. And then with our hit, you can see it all in the eyes, the eye expression. But um, without even words, you can see all of their emotions. Yeah, but, um, yeah. And what I liked about the whole plot of Sotos was it followed the same structure of Sotos, parallel to the Sotos hazing and the Sotos in people involved in Sotos. Like, you'd see all of them going through seniority, wherein our hit was... Our hit and Singto had that same problem. He said to ni Nico kanina, you also had that order issue. You also had the tradition issue. We're in, they're breaking traditions as well. Like when our hit was questioned, why are you drinking pink milk? Isn't that that? So para, mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I mm-hmm. And eventually, yeah. they're all going into unity. The, the theme that he said, I think, we're in... You don't see any jealous breakouts or jealous breakdowns. It's so I think yeah, I think because of the unity concept of Sotos, na they know all each other now. They're so comfortable with each other. So, but okay, sige, keep it. And it all ends with the spirit. In the story of Sotos, it ends with the kinship, with the yung wrist banding. And for the story ni Chris at ni Singto, it ends with the girl. So parang ganun, it followed the same structure na what I liked about the st- same statement they had together in both parallel worlds, kumbaga, the Sotos itself, na hazing, and Sotos, the story was, they all asked one question, are you tired? And they all answered no. Na parang with love, mapapagod ka ba? Or with something that you like? Interesting. Correct. Kasi hindi napagod si Sing. Guys, remind me, the last scene, it wasn't in the bridge, right? It was, I, mean, like, I don't really remember. It was um, the two of them together, right? When uh, there was like a party and they were wearing like really mm-hmm. colorful shirts, right? Uh, and so yeah, para- I think you mentioned it last like, no? Parang throughout the entire series, parang, I mean, in my, in my head, parang, yun lang yung part na parang medyo dream sequence siya. Like parang this is the culmination of everything that happened. So finally, we're in this dream state. We're in this magical state. We're in parang nagkaroon lang sila ng agreement na they are in the, indeed feeling something for each other. And mm. this is where it becomes all magical and Korean novella-like. Yes. <laughs> because of the right, yeah. hazy. And then you have the, the lights at the back na may bokeh effect pa, di ba? Yes, so I think exactly. That also, right. Diba? So that was a very, um, I think it was, it was a very well thought out scene. Yeah, yeah and to add yung case, it's a mini piage. Kasi parang, I understand the hazing bit a lot. <laughs> Kasi we, I've been there too then. So parang, yeah. I cringe at every moment. Pero I think I saw yung end niya was a different way. Kasi if you notice how harsh was our hit in the first part, first episode, yeah. compared to how King Pob addressed his students, parang it felt mm-hmm. like we're not going to be those people. Right. Because we've been through that hell. We don't yeah, want to go through that hell again. And I think that's a no, diba? Parang that's a, a good way to end it, eh. Na parang, all right, we respect tradition, etc. and so forth. But traditions don't necessarily have to go with this uh, guidelines that are very strict, diba? So parang we can still change it. Maybe we can still impart on them the Sotos, um, what do you call that, spirit. But yes. it can be done in a gentler way, in a more humane way. So, yeah. another character and plot development, which I really like about this series. Correct. But as you mentioned, the roof deck scene, that's a scene that I think yeah, yeah, yeah. love. And that's actually the scene that really made me killing the most. Because I really like how they acted, and you can really see the happiness in their faces. So, yeah, when Ardeen uh, finally admitted that they were dating, and then um, yeah. you can see the reaction in Compom's face that he was really so happy and he was really so enamored with Ardeen. Oh my gosh, it's really so killing for me. Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to like the bridge scene, but if there's this one critique for me on the bridge scene, 
bridge scene. <laughs> Medyo awkward lang yung kiss for me. But after finding because... out it was one of the first scenes yes! that we shot first, <laughs> it was kind of, okay, it was understandable. Uh, yeah, Got an excuse, but yeah. Uh-oh. Sayang, but I still like the script in that scene. Especially okay, on the you... chasing each other speed. Okay. <laughs> and since you mentioned the, um, the last scene, diba, wherein they finally admitted to each other, or they admitted to their friends that they were together, but I'm, there was one line there, which I guess I'm going to bring up now, but it's, it takes a little bit away from the series, I guess, is, you know, diba, parang, do you like guys or something like that? Parang, I guess uh, I got so the are you, diba, are you, So are you into guys? And then, no, I'm into art. It. So parang, it was sort of like, so he's not, not admitting that he's, Gay, parang it's more of like in the between <laughs> like I'm sort of maybe bi because um, I'm into this particular guy but I'm not into guys in general so parang dun medyo nag take away yun for me because I felt like you could have just said well I guess I am now diba? parang, but no parang I, sort of like very specifically mentioned that it was just one particular person that he like and not as a gender mm-hmm. as a person I, I don't know so parang yeah I yeah. think for me because it's like he was saying that uh, if if our hit wasn't our hit, he won't like guys. Correct. Yeah, yeah. That's like, the line, right? Uh, uh, I like him because it's very well. Right. Parang, so, parang, it's at, at least para sa akin, it represents another spectrum of the rainbow. So you have we have yeah, different yeah. Ngayon, we have bisexual, demisexual, asexual. So it, he falls yeah. into one of those spectrums, na not the usual. In, so, na, yeah, that makes that kind of makes sense. So yun lang, I guess that's one of the things that I, I thought na could have been, I don't know, maybe handled differently. Because even the one who asked him, oh, he basically yeah. asked the question, isn't that the same? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, I don't know. But that's funny. I, was it off that asked the question? It was M. M. I was so, M. Yeah. Yeah. so there, but no biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Again, Spectrum, you're correct, yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I think we're good, no? Uh, can, can you yes, all hear me now? Really yes, good. Yes. 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 Okay. So, okay. So, anyway, so, I think we really had a rich discussion uh, from plot, no, and then character development, pa lang. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, transfer. We'll go to the next uh, part of our discussion, right? Uh, we will talk about the impact of the series to us, right? This is very interesting because uh, we're coming from different backgrounds. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. All right. So th- we're coming from different backgrounds. So iba yung uh, uh, experience that end of the series. No? With that, let's look at how it impacted us when we watch this particular series. So what was the message of the series to you? So Mark, Mark, go ahead. Very strong tone. outside the no hazing part, I like the love story and the slow burn romance mm. thing. So it's okay, na man. And I understand yeah, yung perspective ng seniors talaga. But I guess since ga parang I was able to relate with them what I have gone through during college. Yon. <laughs> parang parang di talaga oh medyo off siya for me so yeah but i think uh since he's think so or si kong pop talaga yung nagustuhan ko na character sa series i guess the lesson for me is uh, ang cliche pero siya pa fight for what you believe in um, <laughs> I, I love, fight for uh, love yes i yes. love how pop would stand up for love as, yeah as a hero for his friends or actually for anyone parang uh, and he always, uh, parang siya lagi yung nagsistand, stand up against the upper class men. So, parang you aspire, parang gusto mo na maging katulad niya. I aspire to be like him, parang ganyan. And he's always on a friend, has the big D energy, pero calm and collected pa din. So, yun. <laughs> that was my take on, um, mm. okay. Oh, oh. Alright. Thank yeah. you, Angel. Uh, uh, si Mark? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, just like uh, Pilans earlier, no, I also experienced kasi firsthand the the whole 
ordeal or the process of initiation. So kind of, just like what I said earlier, it became so relatable to me because I've also experienced the same thing. I'm not really the same thing, but the, the, the process itself. Hindi naman the same thing. Wala naman ako naging ka-BL habang nag-i-initiate. Saya. Saya. Hindi, ano lang. Um, siguro that's why then nagustuhan ko yung series for me is because I've experienced it firsthand. Although there are some instances na medyo problematic din kasi siya. In so, there are some activities na parang medyo sumosobra. May mga activities naman na parang bakit, parang questionable for me, bakit yun yung approach. Whereas right. what they wanted the freshmen to to get out of it is parang could be done in a different way. Kasi for me then I also came, yeah, coming from University of the Philippines, medyo ram, hindi naman rampant, pero medyo madal, hindi, tradition, yeah, just like SOTUS. Uh, tradition kasi siya, especially for, uh, siguro for state universities kadalasan, na, may ganong system whenever you join. For, for for my case, I joined an organization. So at first, just like them, hindi ko masyadong, hindi ako masyadong open, <clears throat> hindi ako masyadong open with the idea of doing uh, the process of initiation. Parang papahirapan ka nila for you to fall to fall in love with the organization. So for for in in an outsider's perspective, you can see it kasi as parang it's establishing a toxic relationship between you and the organization. So parang yun yung nakikita ng, out, ng outsider uh, dun sa, na wala dun sa experience na yun. Pero for me, first hand, na-experience ko siya, na, na-toxican ako, nahirapan ako and everything. Um, mm-hmm. Nagkaroon din kami nung pa-blindfold, di, madilim na lights with candles and everything. So yun yung very reason kung bakit super relatable for me. Kasi in every episode, you get to wait what happens next. Parang you get to match if the next scenes would really mimic or like mirror what you've experienced in your own life for me because right. na experience kasi so um the message for me was this a sotus na initiation although medyo questionable siya siguro for Ange, no pero what i what i got from it is because um although merong may mga, may mga instances na problematic yung yung system yung order and everything the traditions become toxic and everything pero just like um yung ginawa ni ni Kong Pob nung siya na yung naging head hazer. Sotos S ba yun? Sorry. Pero, Sotos, pero nung, yeah. Sotos pa rin? Okay, sorry. Yun. <laughs> nung, nung siya na yung naging head hazer, parang nakita natin na meron palang other ways to do it. So, parang without um, without yeah, compromising. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Parang with, without compromising the message that you want to put across to the people back or to to your audience there are so there's so many ways to do it one may work for a certain group or like for the for the batch one or it may not work for another batch pero you can see that there are many ways to do things so parang parang if you if you would reflect it on your in our own lives para makikita natin na there is no one way to to do things like you should not impose something that you already know into a specific group of people and expect them and parang parang i- i- instill to them that they should ac- accept what you're saying because it it shows na there are so many ways na no, na parang you what you what you're saying right now may, may not be parang the way they receive it so it 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 goes hand in hand din naman so ayun and then another message for me no series is um um parang taking out of the concept na initiation pero moving into what the BL side of the story na, na I got the message na parang you, you really cannot put a label into things kasi just like what uh, Mike Mike said earlier na na parang bakit kasi ako din ako din eh medyo na, na disoriented na ako ng content dun sa perspective na bakit parang you cannot admit that you're gay unless you you're you're with a specific person. So parang for me kasi you took out the gender of that person, the self right. you know, consider mo. So why not take out the gender in in not just for that person. So if you're if you're giving towards liking someone, so if you took if you, if you really took your shot and take out mo in the equation is yung gender ng taong nagustuhan mo, why not in a future or maybe some other people that you interact with? Um, it take out medyo yung gender so parang yon yun yung yun yung message na nakuha ko na parang um parang we should not really put labels or if, if you put 
labels just, yeah just just respect whichever label yung in attest ng person na yun sa sarili niya kasi if if a, if a specific person naglabel siya sa sarili niya everybody should respect it if a person hindi niya ni label yung sarili niya then everybody should respect it is yun lang naman eh so, you should always um just respect each other's opinion and opinion of his or her, her own self yeah. Perfect. Um, maganda yung sinabi ni Mark, no? I think uh, Daryl Magrama would like to weigh in to what he said, to what yes. Mark said, no? Uh, flash ko lang yung comment ni dito. Um, and he, uh, Daryl says, uh, this is the narrative that Japanese BL is actually tackling, no? Uh, Thai BL came from Japanese yao, yaoi, no? Tama? Uh, yaoi. 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 Uh, wherein it revolves in the homoerotic relationship of two beautiful male characters. Uh, it's Bishonen. Bishonen, no? Without Bishonen. focusing on their sexuality and gender. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Before we uh you know have Mike uh share no uh, his thoughts, I'd like Maya. to also Amaya pala si Maya pa pala, no? <laughs> I'd like to um uh, uh, ko lang yung comment niya. She is actually from uh, Boys Love Philippines, one of the uh, Facebook uh, groups no, na hey. 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 Hello. comment yeah. So this is uh Hannah Alcinawi, no? Sabi niya, it's so nice seeing another girl in the community. We have a girl over there. Movie. Sabi ko kaya sa kanya, hey, hindi lang ito siya, but dalawa kami. So, medyo may challenge lang kami sa room at the moment. So, we will introduce Patty uh, later, no? Okay, so, so Hannah, uh, thank you so much for, um, how do you call this, joining our live session. Uh, Misa pinapanood ko yung lives nila sa Boys Love Philippines. Actually, we invited hey. her in one of our sessions also. No, she oh, said hey, yes yeah. already. So, yeah. can invite yeah. Looking forward and to that. Uh, uh, yung Pinoy BL naman na hello stranger. Okay, but uh, we will talk about uh, these things later on. But we'll invite Hannah in one of our sessions. Hannah, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, so, Hannah. All right, so let's have uh, Maya. Maya, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the show made me realize the importance of being recognized in a relationship which i think is the problem of most same-sex relationships at the moment and i guess that's also um the problem for artit and pop pop at the show Parang it took a while for artit to recognize his feelings and also took a while for him to be proud of the relationship especially to share it with um his friends that's why that's also where the um struggles came in the relationship, the bana, and it was jealous with a friend, but he couldn't express his jealousy because I guess he was not uh, proud or he was not very vocal about the relationship without knowing that the girl is a lesbian. I'm <laughs> sorry, or it likes it as well. <laughs> That's why I think for me the really pivotal moment in the scene is when Artit uh, finally became proud um, of Kompob as his boyfriend to his friends. Um, and that's why I also like how they depicted the happiness of Pom Pom when he was finally introduced as a boyfriend. As in, that picture is really always playing back to my head. Because I also I couldn't imagine myself being in a relationship that's not um, out or proud with the family and friends. And I also couldn't imagine being in a relationship without the love and the support of the family right. and friends. And I also like how they portrayed um, reaction of the friends in a positive way. Diba parang when Artit and Kong Po both came out um, on the roof deck party, I appreciated yeah. how the friends, you know, see, and, and also during the, the talk at the bench, diba? and Prem and Bright um, reacted and they were supportive of um, Artit and Kong Po. And if we can just have more friends like them, then it will be a more colorful and accepting yeah. world. <laughs> It was uh, so for me, yung sa beach. Sobrang kilig ako dito. <laughs> Ito na naman yung beach scene. <laughs> yes. Oh, since you mentioned that, right? Um, I think that's one also one of the, I forgot to mention, it's also one of the more pivotal scenes in the series because um, I think in other BL shows, they didn't really explain what the gear is for, but here in Soto, yeah. they sort of like gave it a different dimension by giving it the human aspect, what is the gear for, and how does it right. fit into the right. whole scheme of things, right? That's, I think, one of the most memorable scenes was when Kong Pop gave his gear to Artit, because the yes. gear represents the heart, right? So yes. therefore, he's giving Artit his heart for him to take care of. 
Spoon Girls. Okay, ganun. So, um, <laughs> nawala na ako sa point. <laughs> nawala na ako sa point. Okay, so, message. Um, Viking, okay yeah. lang, ano, I go first and then pasok ko na si, si Patty and then ikaw na after me. Okay, sure. No problem. Perfect. So, um, I think, um, siguro, how do I, how does it impact me? Basically, I, I, I'm, I'm a very generalist kind of person. I look at not really specific detail, the specific details of the, the series. So, sa akin kasi parang we've been talking about hazing and it's part of the system in the university, di ba? And we are kind of averse about the idea of bullying and then, you know, hazing and all. Pero para sa akin kasi parang it actually um, helps so to spell the me- or say the message. Kasi to me, it represents the social system, di ba? So to uh, means seniority, order, ano to? Tradition, Tradition. it actually symbolizes um, social norms, no social system. And what's the social system? It's very hetero heteronormative, no? Babae lalaki here and there, no? And we, people respect that, no? And but in the series, it was challenged, diba? So I think it's actually um, a simple way of saying that hey, we are actually challenging social systems at the moment because uh, love is genderless, so on and so forth. I think. To me, at least yung impact, you know? So yes, these social systems exist to establish order, but it is not necessarily absolute. I think yun yung sinasabi ng SOTUS, eh, na, I mean, things can change. It depends on what's going on at the moment, right? Social systems uh, are ever-changing because of how things go. It depends on what's going on already. Remember yung ginawa ni Kompop, parang binago na yung sistema, no? Uh, although this was already in SOTUS S, di ba iba yung hazing na style na eh. It was kind of fun, it was colorful, it was all about games. Pero sa time ni R- ni RT, it was kind of uh, constraining, restraining, di ba? It was kind of stern, discipline, no? Um, so wakang mas nagustuhan kayo yung SOTUS S. Talaga? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mention that. So, Malakasing eh. So, to, iba naman yung uh, approach. Although, sinabi, ko, sinabi ko kay Mikey yun eh. Nasabi ko, Mike, parang na-bore na yata ako na sa Otos S. In the, in the beginning, in nung una. But towards the end, doon ako napaiyak talaga. Kasi parang, ah, yes. may sinasabi pala talaga siya. May sinasabi nyo na ako, manonood pa ako. Oh, ah, sige, ah, joke lang. Ah, joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. <laughs> so, the last last point ko nila. Parang I think to love does not necessarily subscribe to any system. Eh. To love does not ask you to subscribe to any particular established system. So it is to be felt and to be not to be complied with. I think that's what I got from Sotus. Because eh. Sotus is a system. But then again, here's um Kung Pop, um Artit, and then Prem and Wad. No, parang trying to work around what's going on there. Trying to get a feel of their sexuality, of their relationship. And I think it's beautiful to say that. Na parang, hey, this is the system, but we're challenging the system. But love is genderless. Diba sabi nga ni Kong Pop dun sa roof deck party, no? na parang, tinanong yata siya ni M, eh, no? I think one of you might mention at this. Diba? Yes, we did. Na parang, in love ka ba sa isang lalaki pa na hindi si RT? Ang sabi niya, um, kung hindi siya si RT, hindi, hindi ko siya magugustuhan. So parang that was a beautiful message na parang love is genderless. I mean, I'm in love with the person, but not of his or her gender at the end of the day. So yun lang, coming from me. Pasok ko na si Patty. Ako okay. naman yung backstage. Okay. Ah, sige, sige. Okay, okay. 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 Alright. Hi! Hi! Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Mikey Hi. Morena. Ah, Mikey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's been a while since I've seen Sotos actually. So, <laughs> um, but I'll just, I guess, uh, pick up where um, it falls into the scheme of the BL series. No? Kasi, um, I think somebody mentioned this in the chat room as well. No? It came after Love Sick. So with Love Sick, kasi, um, it was more of they were still exploring the BL characters and the BL um, sort of like uh, genre. Di ba? Pero yung Soto, parang, it really focused on BL in the characterizations of the main couple. So parang, I think um, in terms of um, getting the BL series or drama started, but it really set a very high bar, <laughs> such that for a lot of people, it is the litmus test. Kumbaga, so parang it's the benchmark. So parang it's the uh, one that um, other series maybe pit against, diba? Okay. So I think in terms of really paving the way for the BL genre, parang Sotos was really at the forefront. So that's why talagang minsan, top of mind talaga siya. 
And that's why all of the things that we mentioned, the, the story, maybe kaya naging masyadong um, popular yung mga engineering students trope is because of Sotos. <laughs> diba? Kasi Lovesick was about high school. It wasn't about college, diba? So, wala pa mga department yung mga yun. Pero Sotos talaga was really about engineering. So, I think it paved the way for that. And what I also liked about it is it had representation, right? And I think you mentioned yeah, na para I realized that eh, um, maybe it is all about love per se. No? Parang you can love a person without uh, disregarding their gender. Maybe from my perspective lang kasi talaga, or me personally, parang I may find it hard to separate the person from their gender because their gender is sort of like part of their makeup as a person, right? So. I guess um, my mindset is like that, and there are other people with mindsets where they see beyond that. So, um, dun, dun lang ako. That's why I found the scene funny, kasi parang for me, it was like, oh, okay, may nagtanong talaga yun. And it was a question in my mind as well. But like you guys mentioned, um, there are so many uh, colors to the rainbow, there's a whole lot of spectrums, diba? and there are even like, genders that we may not even be aware of yet that are already happening. They may not have been labeled yet, right? And um, we're going to discover them in the future, right? Maybe eventually we'll all be genderless and we'll just be Mike and be Patty and be Ange, et cetera, and so forth. But I guess yeah. um, there are still a ways off from that. So you know, I think in that sense, and you guys made me realize it, maybe in some ways, Sotos is a trailblazer as well in that gender expression and gender sensitivity kind of uh, paradigm, right? Because it introduced the fact that no, I'm not looking at the gender, I'm just looking at the person. I mean, and that was, again, something I failed to mention about plot and character development. Parang we only realized later on that si Artit pala had this soft spot and he didn't really want or enjoy being a hazer, but he was just doing it because of tradition. He was just doing it because it was a role. But in his heart, he had a compassion for people. And that was revealed later on, which developed his character. So I think um, in terms of yung bar talaga, for me, it really set it very high. <laughs> and I think your realization ko is today and not when I was watching it. So this discussion was very helpful for me. Thank you very much, guys. Um, hopefully, we'll have further discussions on it. But now I'll leave it to the rest of you guys to provide your own interpretation and thoughts on the series. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So, <it's> <laughs> See, do you go first, or do you want Nico, to? Or si Nico. Nico left na. Nico finished. Hmm. So, so maybe Lance, if you want to go ahead, or Patty, if you want to go ahead. Yeah, I can go ahead if you want. I think si Pat. Is it Patty? Nila? Or si Patty? Si, si Patty na lang. Hello? Si Patty na lang. And then yung si guest reviewer perspective. Yes. But she's frozen. Oh, Patty. Is she frozen? Patty. She's frozen. Oh, Patty. She's done. Patty. <laughs> Patty. 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 Oh, hindi ba kasi Lance can go ahead for Patty? Well, sige, Lance can go ahead. Baka Patty needs to disconnect him. <laughs> yeah, I think sa akin kasi okay, the biggest go thing ahead, in that so in Sotos for me, I mean, the summary of all of it was yung the Miss Universe question nila kay Singto, kay Kong Pog. Like, should Sotos be abolished or why? For me, Sotos stands out. Yung parang sinasabi ni Nico kanina, Sotos for me stood out like as a social norm, as a challenger, as love as well. So during that time, in that period, they were all challenging the BL series. Sotos itself, the series was challenging BL series. They were challenging the questions of love. They were challenging the questions of hazing as well. So parang that Sotos series encompassed everything from the colors of the characters, the cast. You'd see their people like Oak and si Tuta Ata. Na they're not the typical people you'd see in BS, especially si Oak. You would see him in the, 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 the BS series. And he was also falling in love with other people. And you'd encounter Prey, 
who's the lesbian. You'd see another color of love there. So with also there's also this color of love, na brotherhood, friendship. Also the color ng school spirit, na, na unity of love. So it's all challenged in that series as well. Parang what I picked up from that is when it comes to the social norms, love, and the way you challenge things. If there's a way middle ground of understanding, like what happened with our hit and Kong Pop, when our hit and Kong Pop understood what our hit was going through, what's behind that, yung behind the whole social system, parang okay. So I understand that maybe I could do it better the next time. And very strong sa kanya symbolism sa dalawang taong to because their names palang symbolize a lot. Our hit means the sun, Kong Pog means resounding the earth. So yun palang they're sending two great messages already. Na kahit malayo yung araw, if you shout, shout so loud, mararating mo rin yun. Oh, ganda. Oh. Ganda. Very poetic. <laughs> Okay. Go, <laughs> Okay, so I'll just make this quick. So it's more of for me. Um, the message of the series is that um, you don't have to be afraid to call out the system when you think that there's something wrong with it. Just how um, just how Kongpo <laughs> called out the system, ba? And he's been really he's been really consistent. Then the first part, na talagang kine question niya, bakit ganon yung mapina pagkawa sa kanila, etc. And then in the same manner, um, try to also understand um, what is the reason why they are doing the things that they do. So, um, di ba, nakita ni Kong Pob kung paano or bakit ba ginagawa ng mga seniors nila or explain actually in, I think this was around episode 7, nung um, explain sa kanila ng seniors kung bakit pinapagawa sa kanya initiation, the reason behind it, etc. To which uh, Kong Pob translated in Sotos S na baguhin yung system but still um, i-adapt dun sa sa current na or dun sa bagong generation na iti-train nila or bagong generation na i-initiate nila. So that's really something that really stood out for me. More than the romance aspect which I think everyone has mentioned. Yeah. Yay! 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 Para si Patty. Namin natin na sabi, no? <laughs> but, uh, what's really interesting is uh, this is really good because I think Lance was able to contribute really something uh, uh, tonight. Eh, no? I, this is the beauty yeah. of what we're doing now in terms of reviews. So uh, we're taking different perspectives. So we can be symbolic, lyrical. We can be poetic about things. We can be straightforward about it. And we are actually representatives of you know viewers, no, mga fans that no 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 talaga ng voice club. So this is such a great. Uh, opportunity for us to really discuss voice love. Okay, so uh, before we head on to the last part of our review, we'll just read some of the comments. Um, ayan na, tuwang-tuwa si Hannah sa'yo, Patty, uh, nung lumabas ka. Sabi niya, ayan, majority to represent. Much love, Hannah. Yes. Much love you too, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> My comment then CSC sabi niya napaka educational naman pala ni Pina it's very trivial ikaw ang kuya Kim ng BL verse <laughs> <laughs> Correct I learned I learned a lot I actually but I learned yeah. more than I <laughs> than I shared it yesterday yes. Yeah 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 <laughs> okay, expand the mga ano, ano natin, perspectives natin. Good, good. So, we're super grateful and thankful for having you, Lance. Thank you so much for gracing our show. Our show! Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Alright, so my request to see si, uh, si Joss Young before we head on to um, the last uh, uh, discussion. Uh, sabi niya, um, he's looking forward uh, to <laughs> our review of our episode 5. Oh, 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 Yes, extra final scene or something. Right. Well, pretty much that's it, ah. So many things. Oh, oh. Right, ba? Kisotos es. Kisotos es muna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, so this is muna. We'll ah, kisotos es muna, tama yah. So kisotos es muna, then it's All right. Okay, so let's uh, have the last part. Ito naman very quick lang to no, parang we can just have a. Uh, Parang a rundown of our thoughts about this. Ano ba yung parang uh, yung quality ng series? No? In terms of shots, in terms of OST, you know? uh, did you like the shots? Um, 
how did you find uh, the entire series? Si P. Mark muna, go ahead. Ayun. Um, okay, ako actually, noong una, kasi so yun nga, as I've said earlier, noong una ko kasi pinanood si Together. So just Together kasi was produced in 2019 and shown 2020. So, cinematography speaking, quality of quality speaking. So medyo angat for me si Together and all the other newer recent na series compared to Sotos, which was released 2016 at the brink of almost uh, almost uh, to call this bankruptcy bankruptcy of GMTV. So yun. so yun yung time na they took their shot and uh, mag invest sila with the little that they have with Sotos and then eventually it paid off for them to so nag umakyat ulit yung profit nila. So yun, so I, I cannot really fault them for the lack of budget or if may lack of budget nga ba, pero feeling ko evident meron. Pero ayun, <laughs> sakit ako lang kasi na parang there was actually an inside joke with uh, uh, while I'm scrolling Twitter kapag nagbabasa ako ng mga some tweets about them na parang um, yung iba daw uh, professional camera yung ginagamit pero for photos DJ cam daw yung ginamit so may mga ganun <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> parang so may mga ganong and may mga ganong ano. So pero outside of that minimal thing, uh, maganda naman yung quality, especially yung ano yung yung pasok nila ng mga music. So very distinct for me yung pasok ng music kapag may sweet moment. So very distinct yung specific specific na tone or music na ginagamit nila for that. Yun. In terms naman dun sa um, sa angle ng camera, okay naman. There's nothing really spectacular na parang iwawaw mo na merong, merong single shot na full frame iikutin. No? So, wala naman silang ganong cinematic experience. Pero um, it's okay. It's just that may mga, ins- may mga konting, paano ba? May mga konting parang off na angle. Pero all in all, okay naman. Especially ano lang. Siguro one noticeable lang na medyo ikipipig ko is yung yung sa bus, pag may mga scene inside the bus, feeling ko dahil siguro cramped yung space inside, so hindi nila masyadong ma-place yung digicam nila. Hindi, joke lang. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> sa field so, trip. Sa field trip. Oo, yun. So parang ah. nakikita ko na parang kita ko na yung nose hair ng ibang actors sa so, parang masyadong malapit. So parang, pero all in all, outside. Hindi ko napansin. Hindi ko napansin. Hindi ko napansin. Uh, very ano naman, very minimal lang naman pero in terms of the story in terms of how they delivered very good naman in lang eh, ano lang konting konting issues lang siguro with how the artistry of the work in lang can i go next yes, yes go on Uh, magka-comment ulit ako sa acting. So, yun, so for the two leads naman, uh, I find them really talented. Like, Singto speaks with his eyes and then si Chris naman has this ability to be scary. Both scary and the cutest cutie pie ever. So, yeah, yeah magaling yung acting niya. Pero, um, I think mas ipipilit ko si Singto. Kasi there's one yung talaga na nag-stood out sa akin. It was when our team was staying in Kong Pob's room and then Kong Pob waited until he thought na our team was already uh, asleep and parang just out of nowhere, he poured his out out uh, to him. Diba? Yung nag-confess siya na akala niya tulog si uh, mm-hmm. our team. So for me kasi saying to the the very... Yung he said something uh, like you asked me if what I thought about you, right? And I really yeah, like yeah, it. Uh-oh. Like, yeah. Uh-oh. Sorry, nakayon ako yung lights. Pero yun, yung scene na yun, sobrang nagandahan ako doon. And Singto did a very good job in expressing the pain, the confusion, and yung parang hope. Uh, yun nga, the hope na parang gusto rin siya ni uh, Art Eat. And uh, that scene felt real to me. It was so genuine. And uh, parang it's like a first love confession talaga. <laughs> So yun, um, I really like Singto's acting and I became a fan after watching uh, this series. Cool. That's Correct. it. Thanks, Ange. Correct. Thank you, Ange. Before I go next, so yun, yeah, um, Hannah said that they took Chris on Sotos and um, it became the rise of B 
BL series and the birth of GMM TV. I agree. It's a trendsetter for me. It's a, and, and it even set the trends for other BLs. Hello, pa shout out po. Hi, KP. Hi. 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 Thank you for watching, KB. Thank you. Yes, and, and yes, it did open up the BL universe and it did become a trendsetter. And for that matter, open up Pandora's box of <laughs> boys love, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> anyway, so I'll just call, I know Patty will comment on the soundtrack, which I like, but I'll comment on another thing. <laughs> I'll reserve that for Patty. Um, I will comment on the casting. I really like the casting of um, Sotos and I did um, feel like um, the personalities of the actors really match well with the characters that they were portraying. So all of the friends of RT, all of the head hazers, um, really fit their roles, the the match or not, the obnoxious um Right, the ba and 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 Prem. I forgot their names. Even the the flamboyant um Hazer, which looked scary at first and yes. became endearing at the end, also fit his role well, the ba. I also like the personalities of Oh, si new si Titi Pum also fit in the yeah. the, <laughs> the role of being a nerdy shy type. Um, student well. Um, even if May was awkward, I'll also give it to her. In fairness, she also fit in the role well. So, so you yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I like everyone else. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, medyo siya na yung least, least, uh, the least casted um, actress. <laughs> but for me, I will commend the overall cast, the casting, and the choice of actors. Do it, do it, do it. Sige, yung ako naman, medyo iba naman. <laughs> yung set naman. <laughs> set daw. Yung location. So, so, I think, number one, yung university was really, really nice. Diba? So, parang it had these sprawling grounds and then they made use of it really well. I think yung mga locations na sinunod nila. Um, maganda naman yung placement ng camera, etc. and so forth. Uh, tapos, ang pinaka nagustuhan ko talaga doon is I really like Artit's room. I think I would like to live in that room. <laughs> And if I ever go to Thailand, mm, poor poster. I visit that particular room, and you know, I think there With is him. actually. <laughs> why not? <laughs> so there is a. I, I found this blog wherein they outline, not outline, parang they went to the locations and then they put the address there. They took some shots, so there, you know, and um, I don't remember much of. To say it's been a while since I watched it, I don't remember much of the. Um, let's say quality of the shoots, etc., and so forth. Pero yon, I think the locations were pretty good. And sorry, may pahabol ng talaga ako. Isa pang character pala that I really like was si Nat, yung best friend ni Artit. Kasi again, siya yung supportive friend, de, di ba? Parang nung humingi ng advice si Artit, ano niya? Kino usap niya? Parang because he was confused and all of that. So Nat was there, and you know, again, just like other BL. Um, characters parang without batting an eyelash without even making a big scene out of it he was just providing a friend advice so we don't really see much of him but i think he was very also helpful in the progression of the love story between the two main characters so there thank you guys nico right um, oh i i think you guys mentioned almost like everything but i'll have to agree with the uh, mark canina uh, there was nothing cinematic about it, and I'm a big fan of like cinematic series, no? Like coming from or departing from theory of love and all. Uh, but nothing so special about uh, so to study sa akin. No? Although gusto gusto ko yung mga slow mo shots nila, na habang na nagbibisikleta, tapos na sa likod si um, si Kong Po oh. and si Arty. Yung mga ganong shots nila, eh, parang siko ay ang sweet. Yung dito ako natutuwa. <laughs> Parang yung mga slow mo, see, it wasn't, they, they weren't really too much, but uh, they were enough to really establish what was going on between them. I, I think that's it for me. I think you guys mentioned pretty much everything. Yon. <laughs> Bad and I guess Patty? Yes. Yeah. Patty, are you there? I'm only seeing Patty. Patty? Also? Patty! I, I okay, okay. 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 Okay
on the actors. Uh, I just like to really, 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 really appreciate him. Though, because so brang just yeah. like I'm. Nagin fan din ako after Sotos. Because I love. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, I love the way he acts because um, hindi niya masadong kino contort yung face niya. Pero he can still deliver the necessary expressions just with his eyes. So na appreciate ko talaga yon sa kanya. And for a rookie actor. Ang galing talaga, hands down. And um, siguro, Ay, yung favorite... Siya. Oh, oh, yeah. he's a rookie siya. Rookie actor Noong siya. Noong time no, 2016, rookie pa siya noon. Yes, yes 2016. First series, first series and first lead series niya. So, talagang nakaka-amaze talaga siya. And then, siguro another thing I'd like to comment on was um, the OST. Hindi ko masyadong, sorry ah, hindi ko masyadong <laughs> yung, opening, yung opening soundtrack. <laughs> parang siyang mga anime. Na parang anime. anime. <laughs> diba? Parang it's so anime. Oh, parang parang dapat parang... all at lang sa ganun. Oo, parang ayos yung mga Naruto for some reason. Pero it's it's cute, diba? But, it's catchy. But, um, it is. It's really catchy. But like, uh... I think what I appreciated more was yung um yung ending and the end of the tea. Tapos kapag may mga romantic or dramatic scene sila, uh, yes. yung song, yung mo pa yung tamang song si pupasok so i really appreciated that pero yung yung open os is sorry talaga hindi masyado but nonetheless it's very catchy it's very appropriate for so but i like that they did a remake of the ano of the rock song of the Ay, opening okay. on the tweetum scenes gusto ko yung tweetum yeah. version niya uh, oo oh, nga yeah. better okay. it's a lot better uh-huh. yeah Okay, okay, Hannah said, but it's true. New viewers tend to rate the show based on how the cinematography is plus the face value of the actors. It's really sad that sometimes the story isn't being paid much attention to because of these factors. Failing to consider the time when the series was created and the actual story. Yes. 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 Yung mga camera na kanon aren't as good as what we have now, di ba? Or, I don't know, color grading, technical stuff. Yeah. Mm-mm. And also, we have to consider the budget naman. Kasi yun nga, GMMTV was on the yes. brink of bankruptcy back then. So, mm-hmm. we have to consider that, no? Correct. And if you didn't mind also, I still enjoyed it either way. Yeah. I did. Yeah. 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 Just the same. Yeah. It's all about the story. Yes. It is. Now, okay. We're gonna hear from Lance. Lance. I think you mentioned most of it already, pero somehow I like the opening soundtrack because it threw me back to that era when I was in college. Because I was in the anime genre. So it felt yeah. like, you know, there are anime that are just school themed. So it fell into that same category as well. So that's the feeling. And I like the reverberations they've done with it. The patuitams, the malungkot yeah. version of the song. So, and I also like the casting, especially in the sobrang diverse ng people. From when you look, when you look at the background, you yes. see ordinary yes. faces. You see hindi lahat puro mga guapo yes. yes. and the yes. different yes. flavors of personalities, all in all. And siguro right. with when it comes to cinematography, I bear in mind too, lagi it's built on 2016. So for during that time, the gear wasn't good or not as good as we have right now. The color grading was different. I appreciate ni yung pagkabuke. I think that is the biggest. Sino na nagustuhan ko lang doon? Yung bokeh with all the lights and all. Yung sa may rooftop deck. Yeah. That's the best yeah. thing I've seen. Uh, yeah. 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 And I appreciate and yung I think beach scene. And I that was the trend. Oo. Uh-uh. It was a trend during that time yeah. then. Yeah. And yung beach scene to go underwater, parang, that's expensive gear to do that. Yeah. And afford nila yun. Parang, sa bagay yun, ha? Oo. It's like one of those rare moments that you see someone plunge into the water. So, parang, okay. At least they took an effort doing that because that water scene was also a big impact of the turning point of Chris. The story like this, to like, na nagpakalunod lang siya, parang ganon. Parang he's giving in to what's the social purpose. And even the um, eight bridge scene, maganda din yung cinematography and how they capture oh, yeah. the lights in the background. The van na nagsas sparkle your lights behind the two of them. <laughs> Actually, na-appreciate ko din yung pagkaka-zoom in niya. Ay, siyempre, yung cables, diba? Yung mga cables niyo. Oo. And I appreciate yung sinasabi ni Mark, I think na may no shares nila. Kasi it's like, it's super intimate. So you'd see every emotion, every twitch ng mata nila. And I think during that time, that's the best way to tell the story. Especially with the gear, with the limited gear that you have. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Oh, may also right. add lang. Um, may also sure. add. I love the scenes that they shot sa Rama 8 Bridge. Ayan, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yung kissing scenes nila. Uh, well, saka yung confession ni Artit kay Kong Pop. It was really romantic. It was a perfect setting for it. Yes. I think he mentioned... Was that was his line? Parang I really I want to get to know you more or something like that. Something like that. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. Like that. So, so since last like mentioned you know, ordinary looking people, diba? And he mentioned oh, when he mentioned oh, I, his face popped into my head. Then it another face popped into my head. See si Edna Mode. Yes, young. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, Mano. I was like, di mo kami malalaka, Edna Mode. <laughs> Lalo sa si Ma Prang. Ma Prang reminded me of Mo Kayuson. Oh, the oh. Yeah, the pretty girl, the pretty girl. The pretty girl. The pretty girl. I don't remember her though. I don't remember her. Oh, okay. Yung mahilig pag selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero yeah, no? Parang parang more recent BLs. Parang everyone is like picture perfect. Maganda, di ba? Parang artistahin. Actually. Yeah, so it's nice to have that kind of diversity and representation. Okay, cool. So are we all done with this part? Sorry, I'm flipping my... We are, we are. Alrighty! So I guess... Okay, I think that was a really rich discussion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, so yeah, uh, we can actually cap off our review by uh, having our rating now. So we are going to rate... Uh, so two, seven in total in the group right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, who wants to start with the rating? See? If wala yung hazy concept, I would give it a 10 because I love the story of our teeth and uh, Kong Pop. But then, uh, Dahil meron, yung yung mamainasan ko na 3 points. So, it's a 7. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That's a good thing. Ah, but, then, but nonetheless, actually, I'm still looking forward to watching Sotos S because I'm a fan of Styles of Life Story. So, medyo dun sa discussion yun, nakikita ko na na baka mas magustuhan ni Kasha. And may better background there na rin naman si Patty. So, hindi naman super spoiled. <laughs> so, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so it's a seven, no? Seven. And mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. And P-Mark. Ako, ano, siguro, ano, um, I, I'll give it a nine for the reasons that, um, first, it's re- very relatable to me. Um, next is, um, I like how they did not rush um the the development of the story in terms of the characters kung parang hindi siya hindi siya at one at the first five episodes you really get the the whole gist of the story na so i gave i, I would i'd like na they they took their time into un, unraveling or let us unravel as viewers the story yeah siguro ano lang i i i could have given it a 10 if um Yun nga, hindi naman sa quality wise na pero meron kasi I, I think I forgot to mention earlier na may mga certain things lang in the quality of the crafting of the series yung halimbawa yung mga filler scenes nila pag kapag magshift sila from one scene to another yung mga fillers nila na parang um yung yung facade of the building parang they just they used just one picture of the facade over and over again so parang yun lang very minimal lang naman na um I don't know kasi I, 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 I hindi ko na kasi tinik, tinik out ko na kasi sa equation yung Digicam Productions. Kasi I know <laughs> yun yung ano eh, with, with, uh, with, this, with their situation before. So maybe you cannot fault, that, fault them for that. Pero yun lang, um, there were some things lang na parang medyo hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan. Especially yung may mga certain dialogue na medyo um, medyo off lang for me yung pagkaka-place. I don't know if, again, yun nga, lost in translation because as international viewers, we just read the subtitles. Pero, right. yeah, from what I, well, from what I got while watching the series, you know, I'll give it an, I still have, it's still, still a pretty high score. I'll give it a nine. Okay. Perfect. Uh, si Mikey, you know? I think it's Maya first. 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. So it's me. It's me, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll give it a nine as well, right? So because of all of the things that we mentioned, and I mean, the chemistry of the two was really palpable. I would say. So um, at this point, I'm really just looking at the characters, right? So, um, medyo na inis lang ako kay Artit at the very beginning, di ba? So, I don't know. I guess, ano eh, parang I'm still looking for that perfect pen. I can't really say what exactly that will be. But somehow, I feel na this is very high on my list talaga. But that's why I'm giving it a nine. So, maybe... Um, when I find that perfect series, I'll give it a 10. <laughs> but this one in particular, it hit some of the um, notes for me, but um, I think there's still something missing. I can't really place what it is, but for now, I'm giving it a 9. That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Maya. Okay. Um, it's a show that I could put down. It's something that I would want to click next and next to. <laughs> so, para, okay, I would say that this is my last episode and then I'll end up watching next. So mm-hmm. I have a lot of I, good memories with it. I enjoyed. I'll give it a 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, I'll give it a 9. Uh, Siguro kasi doon ako nag-anchor dun sa um, campus life picture eh. Parang it, it's really a good and happy series for me. Um, hindi ko siya bibigyan ng 10. I guess because may kulang pa rin. I think si Lance nagsabi kanina parang they fell in love with each other towards the end. Eh. Pero maganda naman yung development ng kwento. Parang I would have wanted sana some sort of development sa kanilang dalawa sa mga middle. So we're talking about killing and happiness, but I'm happy most of the time. Eh. Um, it's a really nice campus, you know, scene or life that I, I was able to see. So I'm gonna gonna give it a nine. Yeah. See you next. Patty. Okay. Patty, okay. yeah, Patty. All right. So yes. for me, I'll give it a nine point five. My point five oh, wow. lang, simply because um. Oh, my point five lang, simply because while I like both um, Chris and Sinto as Artit and Kong Pob, respectively, um, there are scenes na feeling ko, or there are intimate scenes na feeling ko parang medyo may awkwardness pa rin between the, between the both of them. But I think that's just that's just primarily because um, it's their first series together and at the same time, um, parang yun nga, they're rookie actors. So, uh, yun lang, yun lang talaga. And uh, it's still a 9.5. And nonetheless, kinilig pa rin naman ako. Parang episode 3 pa lang, 1 to 1, na yata ako. So, still, okay pa rin yung, mataas pa rin siya sa happiness ng third ko. So, it's a 9.5 for me. May point 0.5 talaga ng butal. May nakasun ako pa, girl. <laughs> Ako na ba yung last? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, go. <laughs> Since I'm speaking for the viewers, I also have the scores ni Jos saka ni John on the ST. Parang kami ng scores. I think we gave them a 10. Sa akin is a 10 because Bilang is the grand, the godfather of all the BS. And the storytelling was effective for me. Ha? For me, it was really effective. The way they hit diversity, the way they hit the challenges, the way they hit love. And all in one big series, na low end, in the low budget pa, and they hit all of those topics and challenges as well. And para sa akin, like it left me with that feeling na love should be genderless. Na ang sabi ng sabi ko ng kaestin no on sa chat dito was why would you change? Why would you put love into a box that cre- that's created by society? So it left me that ending quote. Kaya ten ten ten. Okay. Yes. Hooray for dance. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So I think I'm your average. Uh oh. Si your official mathematician. Hello. Ayan, so let me just put it sa ating banner super quick lang. Kasi kung muda kung muda kung muda kung muda kayo dyan. <laughs> What's on TV for next week? What are we discussing next week? Um, are we planning to have Game Boys already? Game Boy. Game Boys. Oh. <laughs> so, siguro what we can do for, kasi ano na siya eh, like today, at the night, 
uh, episode 7 na siya, no? Next week would be episode 8. So good, what we can do is we can have a quick discussion of what uh, the first seven episodes have been so far. And then we can try to have some sort of some sort of watch party siguro. Uh, sabay natin panoorin ng alas 8 yung episode 8 para reaction, talagang live react type. Oh my God, you know. Diba? So, our... What's the score? Drum roll. Score. Drum roll. Drum roll tayo. So the overall rating of the BBS together with our uh, viewer, our guest viewer na napakaraming nabigay na insight sa atin na sila. Yeah. So, so, it is... 9.7! 9. 9. 7. 7. Yeah. <laughs> Napul nung apat na 10. Ange <laughs> <laughs> outlier. <laughs> yes. Okay lang yan. <laughs> yes. 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 All right. Okay. So, um, there you have it. So, thank you everyone for sharing your thoughts. No, I really appreciate that Lance is here to also provide his perspective on the series. And for those of you on the comment uh, in the chat room, chat room, <laughs> who share their thoughts as well, St. Joss, Reynaldo. Um, Hannah was there at one point, Daryl was there at one point, and you gave your scores as well. Thank you very much for doing that. So we've doubted that along with uh, our scores. So now we have a rating of 9.07, which is very high. So um, this uh, session we talked about SOTOS, and next week we're going to talk about Game Boys. <laughs> so we just shift tayo from the Thai BL series to the Pinoy BL series, right? And because it's very uh, it's a very hot topic right now, and we also want to weigh in on what everyone is saying. So again, guys, um, what we're providing here is our own opinion. Of course, um, our perspectives are going to be different. We're going to have, as you saw, we have different ratings. We have different comments and thoughts and perspectives on things. The most important thing is we're able to share our love for BL. Because you know, important We just want to come together as a community and be able to appreciate something that resonates with all of us, diba? Right? So if you want to weigh in as well, if you disagree with what we said, if you agree with what we said, go ahead and put it in the comments box. And we hope to see you again next time for our next uh, review session. Thank you very much, everyone. Just to share, share uh, the real be a love, no? And mag-flash tayo ng comment dito. Showbiz talaga tayo dito. Okay, so... So, ang mahal mo last, si, Pia, si Pietro says, I love you, Pia. And then, Pia, and then, Pia, Pietro yes. says, I love you. Wow. <laughs> Grabe, uh, buddy, yung BL relationship. Yeah. Love on the <laughs> oh, Again, love everyone, love everyone. <laughs> thank you so much, Lance, again. We hope you join us again next time. Thank you very much, everyone. Kapa na ha. Kapa na ha. Kapa na ha. Bye.